Let's look further into the lift to drag ratio. The best lift to drag ratio is found where drag is least. Most light aircraft will have a glide ratio, which will be about 10 to 1. It is the pitch attitude, which gives us our best glide. The angle of attack. However, due to high cost, we use a speed to approximate this attitude. We can see here that the best glide range speed is also determined by a line tangential to the power required curve. A tangent is a straight line that touches a curved surface at a point, but does not cross it at that point. You can see the line is touching the underside of the power required curve on the lower graph. At that point where it touches is the lift to drag maximum. Lift to drag maximum gives us both our minimum drag or best glide speed. And it also gives us the maximum range speed. So, in the upper graph you can see that at the point where drag is least, in the total drag curve, is where we get lift to drag max. That gives us minimum drag and maximum lift. In the lower graph, it is the same speed, but it is found by running a tangential line on the power required curve. Both the speeds are the same. Because it is the speed where lift is greatest in relation to the amount of drag, it will give you the furthest distance when gliding, and it will give you the best speed for minimum drag. That speed is used to get the maximum range out of the airplane. Because it will take you the longest distance on the fuel available. So, the best lift to drag ratio establishes without power, the best glide speed. With power, it establishes the maximum range. And, maximum range is the distance an aircraft can travel by flying at the most economical speed. The maximum endurance is determined by least power required. This is different to the range. Maximum endurance is the maximum time an aircraft can travel, or to say it another way, the maximum time it can stay in the air, by traveling at the most economical lift-to-drag ratio. So, maximum range travels the furthest distance. Maximum endurance stays in the air longest. You can see on the lower graph that to stay in the air the longest time will require less power and therefore, less fuel being consumed. Hence, it can stay in the air for longer.